Hello, welcome to Friendship Moments. It's uh, looks like the year is kind of winding down. Twenty twenty two has been a eventful year in my life, and I just want to give God thanks for what He's done. I was kind of I was a sheep that had strayed. I was one to the one of the hundred that left, and he he came and got me, put me back on the road where I needed to be. And he's done a lot in my life, and, I, and I'd like to thank him for that. Tonight, my devotional is entitled Living Water, and it's about the woman at the well. Well, one of my favorite stories in the Bible. It comes from John chapter 4, verses 3 through 32. I'm not going to read them all, but, you know, for the next couple of moments, let's just take a picture in our mind, a mental picture, of what you might think that the woman at the well, what she actually looked like. And, uh, you know, it might seem like a silly exercise until we realize that what we think about what she was and begin to draw a picture, the first impression and the actual picture may be quite a bit different. You know, in, in my mental picture, I, I, I imagine she's wearing an old wore-out dress, clothes. She wasn't wealthy, in fact, she was poor. She probably had no friends, no family. And I can imagine that she was probably between 35, maybe 40 years old. And she's been through five husbands. And she was living with a sixth man now. And you know how you know who knows how many others there had there had been. But I picture her as a woman who her years were catching up with her. And when she was in her 20s, she was probably a very beautiful woman, but she probably had no self-esteem, probably low self-esteem. But then I picture Jesus. You know, he was tired. He was weary. He had been walking all morning. And he was thirsty, I'm sure, because it was the middle of the day. And he had sent his disciples off into the local town to, to, to get provisions for him, and he would be going to meet him there at the well, but he didn't have any way to get any water out of the well. But he was, he was sitting there. He was probably praying or just relaxing, enjoying his quiet time, because he probably didn't have very much quiet time. But suddenly this woman appears. And he asked her for some water. Well, that kind of shocked her, because she knew that he was a Jew and she was a Samaritan. And the Jews hated the Samaritans. They didn't associate. They would go out of their way to get away from the Samaritans. They, they would. They would circle our town to keep him having to go through a Samaritan town. They didn't want to associate him in any way. And also, there was a custom that they had that a single man couldn't talk to a single woman unless there were chaperones present. Well, Jesus was breaking social and political and religious rules. And to the Pharisees and religious leaders at that time, that would be totally unacceptable. Well, John tells us that she came at about the sixth hour, which is around noontime, the hottest part of the day, when there was no one else that would be there. She didn't want to interact with the other women. And no other women would want to associate with her. Jesus was risking a lot by being there, much less talking to her. But that's why Jesus came, to help people, people who were forgotten, outcast, somebody that needed a savior. They were engaged in a conversation that would change her life forever. He wasn't just a weary traveler, but the Messiah. And if she accepted that, she would be asking him for living water. In verses 13 and 14, Jesus offered her living water, saying, Everyone who drinks from this well will be thirsty again. But whoever drinks from the water that I give them will never thirst. Well, she thought that was, she thought that was a pretty good thing, you know, that she would never have to return to the well again to get water if she got water from Jesus. Because she knew that getting water was hard work. But still, she didn't get what Jesus was talking about. Jesus knew that her need was far deeper than just wanting an easy way to get water. 
She needed to find forgiveness, and she needed to find out what it meant to have someone who truly and unconditionally loved her. And that would be Jesus. Jesus knew all about her sin, yet he loved her. She felt his pure love. And if she had felt condemned, she would have just simply left. But Jesus revealed the complete truth about her and completely accepted her for what she was. The saving factor in this woman's life was that she did not deny the truth. Jesus will forgive our sin, but only if we face him and admit it. We will never find God by pointing out our strong points, only by admitting our weaknesses. Let us pray. Most loving and gracious Heavenly Father, please give me strength when I am weak, love when I feel forsaken, courage when I'm afraid, and wisdom when I feel foolish, comfort when I'm alone, and hope when I feel rejected, and peace when I am in turmoil. All these things we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you.